I am Kim Yeager. I am the instructor of theater here at Union College. This show I read in the summer when I was trying to find something to do, you know, for this school year. And I just loved the story and I thought, oh my gosh, I hope my kids love it too. And my God, they love it. <laughs> it's called These Shining Lives by Melanie Marnich. It is about four girls who worked in a watch factory in Ottawa, Illinois. And what they did was they painted the numbers on the watch dials, clock dials, with a paint that had radium in it because radium made the paint glow. Why does it shine? There's a little radium in there. Just a smidge. Paying attention, Miss Donaldson. Donahue. Point. Dip. Paint. It's a lift it paint machine. Easy. Lift. Dip. Paint. You've got it. Unbeknownst to them, radium was very poisonous. And in this radium dial factory, the women start getting ill. The company was telling them it's fine. In fact, it's medicinal. When in all actuality, it was eating their bones from the inside out. They decided to take the company to court. I'm going to need specifics. We'll build our case on specifics. And specifics one case, so specifically, Specifically, I've been diagnosed with bone cancer in the process of the jaw with extreme radium poison. Now, this was a big deal in the 30s because women didn't do that. Women were meek and mild and not supposed to have a voice and things like that. They did something that they weren't supposed to do. They were laughed at, they were scoffed at, but they went ahead and did it anyway and we have to admire them for that. I, I just love the story for one, and for two, the way it's written is just beautiful. Mayor Big Bill Thompson is running the city. So are Johnny Torrio and Al Capone. Jazz is playing on the hall stand. The White Sox are playing at Comiskey. A company opened in the Marshall Field Annex, the Radium Dial Company. It hired women like us. It was the job of the century, the job of our dreams. By 1922, it had moved to Ottawa, Illinois, where more than 1,000 women worked during the next 11 years. And we started like this. Through our research, and I say our cast crew and myself, we have found those things that they have stretched and understand why they did it. I have probably worked harder on this show than any show I have ever done, and I've done over 200 shows. And it's because of my cast and crew. It's because they have shown so much interest. It's made me work harder. Everyone in the show is very immersed in the rich history of the Radium Girls. Some would say it's a tragedy, but the girls tell us not to think of it that way. Yes, it is tragic what happened, but it's important. It's important in, in history. That's what they want us to remember. Not to be sad for them, not to do anything else but listen to the story and listen to the history behind the story. Charlotte Purcell, Francis O'Connell, Pearl Payne, and of all the other women who worked so well, Inez Valle, Marie Galinsky, Helen Munch, his beautiful body, Mary Tanelli, Olive Witt, Sadie Frank, and any mercy they were shown, Mary Ellen Cruz, Margaret Lenny, Mary Robinson, and so many more. All looking back at me. For that moment. Well, all looking back at me. Then turn. Oh, all looking back at me. For that moment. While time turned its face. We were all there. And we were shining.